Welcome to another PCANView 5 video. This time, I want to show you how to connect to a CAN FD interface like the PCAN USB FD. In this example, I am using the PCAN USB FD and a suitable CAN cable for connecting my computer to the CAN FD bus. At first connect your CAN FD interface and start PCAN View. The Connect dialog appears and lists all available CAN and CAN FD interfaces. Select your CAN FD interface. Depending on the used interface, different operating modes are available. CAN SJA1000 for working with the CAN protocol, like with classic CAN interfaces. CAN for using the CAN protocol in a revised, more comfortable way. ISO CAN FD for using the CAN FD protocol according to the ISO standard 11898-1 and non-ISO CAN FD for using the CAN FD protocol according to the deprecated Bosch CAN FD protocol. We select the standard for CAN FD, ISO CAN FD. The clock frequency is the basis of the bit rate calculation. Therefore, this selection affects the available bit rates. We keep 80 here. When it comes to selecting bit rates with a CAN FD interface, you need to know that CAN FD defines an additional data bit rate besides the nominal bit rate. The higher data bit rate is used only for the data bytes of a CAN FD frame. The bit rates can be selected together with presets recommended by SAE or CIA. This also determines the used clock frequency. Of course, you are not bound to the presets. You can select a nominal and a data bit rate from the database. For this, set the bit rate preset to a none and select the bit rates from the lists. Like when using classic CAN, the bit rates selected must match the ones used by all the other CAN nodes from the CAN bus. We set the bit rates to 500 kilobit per second and 4 megabit per second, for example. In addition, PCANView 5 offers a way to set a custom bit rate. Just enter the desired bit rate here and click in another input field or hit tab. A valid register set is automatically calculated. If this fails, for example with 440 kilobit per second, you get a suggestion to set to the next possible bit rate. With this button you can even adjust the sample point by selecting another register value set from the list. For this example, I am selecting a preset. After configuring the bit rates, additional options like listen only are available in the tab options. An acceptance filter can be defined here. Finally, confirm your settings with OK. The receive transmit window opens. The established connection is indicated in the status bar. The connection is OK and all CAN and CAN FD messages transmitted by other CAN nodes are shown in the Receive panel. If an error is indicated in the status bar, please check if your CAN bus is correctly terminated. All CAN nodes use the same nominal and data bit rates. And at least two CAN nodes are connected to the bus. If the problem is solved, you can reconnect with this button or reset the CAN interface by clicking the reset button. Thanks for watching.